Hi folks, I'm going to show you how you can have some fun with the magnetic fields using a horseshoe magnet, a keeper, and some iron filings. The uh, keeper is just a piece of steel that, as you'll see, can be used to shape the magnetic field. I'll start with a clean white background, the horseshoe magnet, the keeper is already attached to its end, and on top of that I'll put a sheet of plexiglass. That's to keep the iron filings from contacting the magnet directly, making a hard to clean up mess. A great way to show magnetic fields is to use the iron filings, and an easy way to get iron filings is to take a piece of steel and file it using a hard hand file. The iron filings are little pieces that get filed off the piece of steel. Here I'm moving the plexiglass with the iron filings on top of it. Notice how the filings form curved lines at the end of the magnet. That's because the filings act like little magnets themselves, and they line up based on the magnetic field of the horseshoe magnet. Just how much they accept a magnetic field is called their magnetic permeability. Different materials accept magnetic fields to different degrees. The molecules of air don't accept a magnetic field easily, whereas the iron filings do. One of the legs of the horseshoe magnet is the north pole, and the other leg is the south pole. So the little magnets, that are the filings, line up with their south pole attracted to the north leg, and their north pole attracted to the south leg. Since there are many filings, there are many of these little magnets. Their opposite poles attract each other, so they then stick together end to end, forming lines. These lines of little magnets also space themselves apart. Wherever they're close together, the magnetic field is stronger, like close to the end of the legs. Wherever they are farther apart, the magnetic field is weaker. Notice that in between the legs of the horseshoe magnet, the filings line up pretty straight across, spaced out evenly. That means the magnetic field there has a fairly even strength along the inside of the legs. Here's a close-up of one end of the horseshoe magnet. Notice how the iron filings adjust to the strength of the magnetic field coming from the magnet below them. Now for the really interesting part. What happens if we remove the keeper? What happens is that the magnetic field in the air near the ends of the legs is much, much stronger, and so it attracts the filings more strongly. Remember, the magnetic permeability of the steel keeper is higher than the magnetic permeability of the air. Another way of saying that is that the keeper accepts a magnetic field much more than the air does. So with the keeper, most of the field was in the keeper, and not much of it was in the air. So the filings, which were in the air, didn't get much of a field. Whereas with no keeper around, all the magnetic field is in the air. So it's much stronger. In fact, the field is so strong that it's able to lift the filings vertically up off the plexiglass sheet. The filings are actually showing the field in 3D. So far I've been moving the plexiglass around above the magnet. Just to show the opposite, I'll keep the plexiglass still and move the magnet instead. This way I can easily gather all my filings together and clean up my mess.